G'day. Welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on Friday the 15th of July 2011. Let us pray together. Father, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. We come before you now as your children. We thank you that you are a personal and intimate God and that we can call you Father. We thank you that you are interested in every facet of every person on this earth. We thank you that you are an active and dynamic God and not just a mere block of wood or stone that is placed on our shelf. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. For we ask this through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who indwells all those who truly follow you. Amen. Let's now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Father, we now lift this world to you, a world crying out for its redemption. We lift to you the people affected by the drought in the Horn of Africa. How can we not look at the scenes coming to our, our screens from Dardab refugee camp without compassion? Those people fleeing drought and fleeing war in Somalia. Help those people, Father, in ways which only you can achieve. Fire the imagination of people to solve these ongoing problems. Enlighten people to give generously, to share and to be looking to the interests of others. For those places where natural disasters have occurred, help the government and aid agencies to be quick to respond in bringing aid to the people affected. May justice and peace come to places where strife and war currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order, and where there is hatred, sow love. Once more, Father, we ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit. Amen. We lift these dear ones to you now, Father, who are in need of a healing touch and to be held in your arms of compassion. Annette and her family grieving the loss of her mother, the grieving family of John, who died suddenly, Karen, who is unwell and unable to work at the moment, Elsie, now recovering in hospital, Maureen in hospital after having had a stroke, Hannah, who is now home after an operation, but due for another operation this coming Tuesday. And we also lift before you and for the continued healing of Chris, Genevieve, Claire and Gladys. We also lift to you, Father, all those who are ill, that you may provide a healing touch and guide the hands of the medical staff treating them. Father, we also lift before you all those facing challenging situations such as confinement at home, geographical isolation lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. Hear the cries of their hearts and our hearts, O Father, and give wisdom and courage to overcome and help the respective governments to send aid and be compassionate. We lift these people to you, trusting that you will meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father God, we now lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, and participating in church services 
around the world this weekend. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds, that the worship would be in spirit and in truth, and that the word, your Bible, is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide and uplift them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. For the wider world, Lord God, renew your church in all nations, in holiness, and help us to serve you with joy. Make us instruments of your peace, and let your glory be over all the earth. Finally, there will now be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. Let us continue praying. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. If you would like to post a prayer request in the comments below, either named or anonymous, we will pray for you. Thank you.